What's happening, my beautiful people? Welcome to this frigid, frigid weather. It's ridiculous. It is so cold out. We got probably about 10 inches of snow in Tennessee. So yeah, global warming, climate change, I don't know. But you know, we normally don't get that, but this year we did. So it's, it's, we're pretty uh, stranded in the house now. So I figured I'd do a couple of videos. Um, this one is thanks to one of my subscribers and I was looking to see if I could find the comment, but I couldn't find it. So I can't tell you who it was, but you know who you are. Um, and he recommended during the panty dropping fragrance, I believe it was, he recommended I do a review of this one. And this is uh, Fragrance World's Absolute Oud Magnificent 7, which is a clone of uh, YSLY's M7, which came out, I believe, in 2002. One of the uh, perfumers in that was Alberto Morialis, and he's known for several, several great uh, perfumes. So we're going to do a review of this one, and I'll let you know what I think. I'll let you know what Brenda thinks, which is even more important. So... Stick around, and I'll see you guys in a second. Thanks, guys. All right, so Brenda and I did a video on panty dropping fragrances, which was really a joke, because to me, there is no such thing as panty dropping fragrances, but there are fragrances that Brenda really, really likes more than others, that when I wear them, she's like, oh my God, you smell so good. So that was more the take on it. But, you know, panty dropping maybe for Brenda, I don't know, but she really likes them. So um, so someone, uh, and you know who you are, recommended that I get my hands on Magnificent 7 by Fragrance World, Amber Oud. And I did, you know, because I listened to you guys. So this is what the box looks like. You know, normal box. You know, you get your little hologram back there. It's an Ouda Perfume 3.4 ounces. I paid, oh, I want to say about $35 for it, so not too, too much. The bottle looks like this, okay? And it does look like M7, YSL's M7. It's a clone of uh, Yves Saint Laurent's M7. And it does look like that, except that M7 is a clear bottle, um, and it doesn't have this black on it. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, M7 is a clear bottle. Um, this to me looks a lot more like uh, La Ligue Sans Cré Noir, uh, the, their bottles, but it doesn't matter. Now, <clears throat> the cap is an okay cap, the pretty misty. The scent, though, I agree with you. Whoever did, uh, you know, post that, thank you, because I agree with you. It is a really nice scent. It's kind of in the line to me of, uh, not, not, uh, low medial but which is the one with iris in it uh why is that loam maybe is it but you know it's got iris in it and it's very powdery this kind of feels the same way as that to me now this has got mandarin orange amber it's got uh musk spicy notes woody notes it's got oud geranium and cinnamon now it is a really really nice scent very, very, very powdery, very geranium forward. And I almost thought at the beginning it was iris because it kind of gives you that feel. But um, it, it, it's a sexy, powdery, masculine iris geranium kind of scent. Um, really, really nice. Now, when I first got it, its longevity wasn't as good. I, I put it, you know, I sprayed it, took the cap off, put it in the drawer for about a week. It's getting better, but I still would say don't expect beast mode out of this one. Um, I don't know how the original is in, in terms of longevity and everything, but I get on my skin about four hours and that's it. Um, but let me tell you, I sprayed it last night because we were snowed in last night. I sprayed it on myself and Brenda was like, what are you wearing that is so sexy? And she was like, panty dropper. So she said to tell you guys that th she considers this one to be a really nice, sexy, sexy scent that she would love smelling on a man. So I'm just letting you know that, um, you know. Now, because of that geranium note, I think women could get away with it. But to me, it does lean a little bit more masculine because of the oud that's in it, right? So it's got the amber and the oud and it, it is a powdery fragrance, but 
a little, little hint of oud. It's not a lot of oud, so don't get crazy. Um, what I get the most out of it, like I said, is the powder and the geranium. That's what what's there, but really well done in a really nice way. Um, projection is not that great. Uh, I'd say maybe a foot for maybe an hour and then that's it. Then it becomes more of a skin scent. Um, but as it as it sits on my shelf and it you know starts to macerate, that probably will get better. But do I recommend it? Yes, I really, really do. If you want a nice, sexy scent, this is a good one. If you like those powdery, uh, almost like lipsticky, but not exactly. You know, like uh, I told Brenda, I thought it smelled a little waxy because of that geranium, um, and she said no. She said she said she smelled more like flowers and powder, um, and so yeah, but. It's really, really nice. I think it's more of a dress-up fragrance than it is anything else. Um, I would not dress this one down. Definitely a date night fragrance, you know, going out. Um, so, yeah, uh, for being stuck in the house, I get to play with some of these fragrances. So, I like it. I definitely think it is Jose Coffee worthy. Um, and you know what, guys? Just so you know, I did look up uh, M7. Um, which, like I said, came out in 2002. They have had a lot of, I think Tom Ford had something to do with the original M7, um, and then it got discontinued, then it came back, and then it's been reformulated a little bit, but people still say it smells really, really nice. You can get a 2.7 ounce bottle of the actual YSLY M7 on Joma Shop, and I think it was like $86.97. So, you know, 35 versus 86, if you really want to get the original, it's not going to cost you a lot of money. So search around if you think that this is something that you would like. And, you know, you can spend the extra money and get the original. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope you like it. Like I said, Jose Coffee Worthy entirely. Mm. Now, the next one that I'm going to be reviewing, not today, but uh, is Hardwood which is a clone of uh, Bath & Body Works Mahogany, which you can't get anymore, and they're selling it for ridiculously stupid prices. Um, I'm really excited to review this one because I like this one a lot. So stick around for that one. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, guys, you guys make sure that you be safe, especially in this freaking weather. You be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.